What's up guys, Cetuan13 here, and today's video is gonna be on how to properly turn on your Zero Breeze portable air conditioner. Alrighty guys, so I've got my Zero Breeze here and I've got it hooked up to the battery using my battery attachment ghetto setup, which is basically just a hold down strap, but as you see, it works great. It keeps the battery attached and all together. So I can pick the two things up as one unit. Now what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was simply to address a couple videos I've seen on YouTube of people trying to turn on their zero breeze and then doing it incorrectly and then coming to the conclusion that it doesn't work. Now there was a few that I saw that were legitimate issues that seemed like even when they turned the unit on properly, it seemed like the evaporator fan did not come on. So the compressor and the condenser cooling fan would come on, but the evaporator fan would not. And as a result, it would make a lot of noise, but it wouldn't blow any cold air out the front. But there are equal number of videos I've seen where there are people that just don't seem to know how to properly turn a unit on. And whether it was for not reading the instructions or believing that it was simpler than the instructions entailed and they decided to do it themselves, they didn't turn a unit on correctly. And because of a small glitch in the programming, it's possible to turn on the compressor without being able to turn on the fan. But as a result, again, the system will make a lot of noise, the condenser fan will come on, but you won't get any cold air out the front. So here's how you do it. First step, in, the, in case of using a battery, I'm not gonna worry about that, but you press and hold the button you press the button once and then you press and hold and you'll get the three lights to come on. Again, you need to hear the fan come on as well to know that the battery's on. But we're not gonna worry about that. Just to know that once you have power, you'll see that red power light. The power light will come on red. This is how you get into standby mode, okay? Press and hold. And when it turns green, the display will light up. You are not in cooling mode yet. This mode is only standby mode. It allows you to use your speaker and your light. That's it. The glitch here is, of course, you can still get the compressor to turn on, but you can't get the fan to turn on. You can see the fan will do nothing even if I hold it, but the compressor button will cause the compressor to turn on if I press and hold. And as you can see, now the compressor's on, it's running, the condenser fan is blowing hot air out the back, but I can't get this to turn on. So what do you do? And you can see, I can turn off the compressor as well, but I can't get the fan to come on. So here's how you do it properly. Press and hold, and once the panel lights up, you're in standby mode. To get into cooling mode, you quick press the green power button again. And now the compressor comes on, the condenser fan comes on, and the evaporator fan. And now I've got nice cool air coming out the front right here. And just to demonstrate that, I'll get a bag. And hopefully you can see this plastic bag being blown around by the cold air coming out the front. So again, guys, I hope this video has been helpful. If it, if it was, give me a like. If you have any questions, comments, or if you've had this issue or you've had other similar issues, leave them below. And if you want to see more, get subscribed.